Hi guys, so today I'm going to show you what my skincare cycle looks like at night time. So I change up a couple of products every day to cater to different needs and concerns of my skin, but the steps remain the same. My skin also has been acting out really crazy right now and I'm getting a lot of pimples, but I'm dealing with it. Hopefully I'll be able to make you understand how this works for me. So let's get started. The first step of course is cleansing. Now I'll link all of the products that I actually use down below because I can't show you all of the products. I have given like couple of examples though throughout the video. Yeah, so first starting I use double cleansing and I use this cleansing balm from Beauty of Jazane I think. And this is such a lovely cleansing balm does not tug my eyes but that day I was not wearing makeup so I couldn't show you the application of this but trust me it is amazing. Secondly, of course I go in with a gel cleanser or some kind of cleanser maybe it can be cream based this one is from glogius and this has glycolic acid which is amazing for acne i also use this one person ceramide uh, cleanser from domaco it uh, is similar to this one from cetaphil gentle skin cleanser literally both of them work the same way and i love to have like a couple of backups of these kinds of cream cleansers because they just do not like uh, dry out my skin and they do the job and then i also love 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 this one from cosrx the low ph good morning cleanser if you've been here for a while you know i love this like this was featured in my first ever skincare video i think and today i'm going to use that because i didn't have any makeup on and i just wanted a good cleanse and this one is so gentle yet it cleans my skin so nicely and it is one of my favorite cleansers hands down then i use a napkin and this one is from miniso i do not use any facial towel because i think they do carry a lot of bacteria when they stay in the bathroom so for toners i usually lean towards more moisturizing toners like this one from consarex it's the advanced nail mucin i'm sure you've heard of it it's literally a cult favorite right now it is such a moisturizing product look at the texture it has such a gooey texture but this one just absorbs into your skin so beautifully and i would recommend having a damp skin when you apply this product I do have a lot of recommendations but currently I am going through this wonder mochi ceramide mochi toner from Tony Moly and this is such a big bottle that I haven't been able to buy any other toner and I'm actually using this for my body as well right now because I just cannot finish this one and today I'm going to use this one because I have a treatment ahead so I'm just taking a couple of drops applying it all over my face it's a very lightweight toner yet it is hydrating so it is perfect for that extra layer of hydration but also not you know getting your skin really sticky so this is perfect for that okay so the skin cycle begins here so first day if i'm using the paula's choice exfoliating toner which has 2% bha liquid in it then i'm already you know using an exfoliant so i won't use any other active ingredients in any of my steps so this day i was doing that and i'm going to apply like maybe uh 5 to 10 drops of it all over my face and apply a very thin layer of it and with very gentle hands so this one actually exfoliates and make sure that you don't get you know those black heads or white heads and it um make sure that your pores are not clogged and this one has a very hydrating finish to it and i did not expect that i've recently started using this one and i've been loving it even my sister's been loving it because this actually does show results quickly and it also makes your skin softer so for my serum i used an niacinamide serum this one is from simple and it is a great product but i've also used the dr shades one which is the centella niacinamide serum and that one was amazing too so both of them highly recommend of course when i use this serum in my nighttime skincare routine i don't pair it with any other actives and the texture of this one is really light again you can see it's a milky texture and it moisturizes very well i have so many moisturizers that i actually love so much and this one from edema is one of them it is amazing and this one from soon junk it is i think the hydro barrier cream i have mentioned this before on my channel i think in lockdown so i purchased this after like 3 to 4 years now and i absolutely love this one because this is i think 
one of the most hydrating creams i've ever tried i know this can give you a little bit of that oily look but it is worth it it's so moisturizing then today i'm going to use the cetaphil damp lotion you can see how much i've used it it is clearly one of my favorites all of these that are mentioned on the description in the description are my favorites and i use them regularly so today i'm going to go in with this one and just applying it all over my face tapping it and gently massaging it and it just sinks into my skin really well and it leaves like this dewy glow on my skin on days when i don't use niacinamide or my fall ash choice liquid i use this retinoid and of course uh, skipping the days when i just use cleanser and moisturizer to regain that skin barrier i use these retinoids the first one is the atabalene gel which i take like a pea size amount and i apply a thin layer all over my face i just use this much and i apply it all over my face evenly another one that i use is retinoin gel now this one also helps with texture and i think Um, it smoothens out your skin and appearance of the pores seem you know lesser so this is how i apply it i'm demonstrating it with a moisturizer but uh, on days when i have to use the retinoid i will use the pea size retinoid so for my night time i can use any lip balm that i have but i mostly gravitate towards the laneige lip balm you guys know that if you've seen my previous videos so this one is the um lip balm glowy i the tube version of this and i love this because i don't want to get my hands dirty then yeah that's it for my skincare routine so for quick recap i first start with double cleansing if i have any makeup on if my skin is feeling congested if not then i'm going to go in with a cleanser it can be a cleanser which has active ingredient or just normal cream based cleanser or a gel based cleanser then i go in with my toner it can be a moisturizing toner or it can be my paula choice bha liquid which is an exfoliating toner if i use that i don't use any other active on that day then i go in with my serum which is my 10% niacinamide serum i've already shown you the options then i use my moisturizer and all my favorites are linked down below in the description then on my treatment stage after my moisturizer comes the retinoids if i haven't used any other active ingredient in my skincare routine then i'll go in with this one and uh, i just use a pea size amount of it and i apply it all over my face and then i also give my skin breaks in between where i just use a cleanser and a moisturizer so this is my skin cycle and i regulate between this I will soon be filming my daytime skincare routine but it will not be a such a long video because my daytime skincare routine is pretty simple so yeah I'll be filming that soon